Hello, another uh, final Pursuing God's Heart from 2 Timothy. I couldn't resist just one more. There's so much in this book. Uh, but uh, right at the very end, in uh, kind of the, the bit we often skip, I suppose the technical term is the letter frame, the bit at the beginning and the bit at the end that's a bit more personal, often that gets skipped over. But there's some real, uh, real gold to be found in those verses. And I love what he says here in uh, chapter 4, verse 16. He says, At my first defence, no one came to stand by me, but all deserted me. Must have been so tough for Paul after all the influence that he'd had, all the ministry that he'd done, all the impact that he'd made in people's lives or that God had made through him. And he got to his first defense and everyone left him. He suddenly stood on his own. He says, may it not be charged against them. He's not bitter. He's not holding a grudge. He just says, oh, may it not be charged against them. But then look at verse 17. This is the gold right here. But the Lord stood by me and strengthened me so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth, probably a reference uh, to the emperor. The Lord will rescue me from every evil deed and bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Whether he's talking about the emperor or talking about the devil himself, it doesn't matter. The Lord stood by me. Isn't that a great thought? In the, the most difficult moments, Jesus said the same thing. Don't worry about it. When you're when you're pulled into court, dragged in before the magistrates and you have to give an answer, don't worry, the Spirit will help you. You'll, you'll be able to speak. You'll know what to say. We don't have to have an army of 10,000 on our side if Jesus is with us. And that's the beauty of what Paul is saying here. He's looking back at maybe one of the toughest moments in his ministry when all the people that could have stood up for him, all the people that could have given testimony and bear, borne witness for him, they deserted him. But the Lord didn't. The Lord stood by me and strengthen me. May that be our testimony as well. Whatever we face this year, next year, this coming decade, this coming century, who knows how long we have, but whatever we face, it's a blessing to have Christians standing side by side with us. But there may come a time when we're all alone, but actually there'll never come a time when we're all alone. There'll never be a point where everyone has deserted us and we don't have verse 17 to follow. But the Lord stood by me and strengthened me. That's the kind of God that we have. One who knows exactly what it is to be on trial alone, to face the toughest moments with nobody uh, faithfully standing by and defending. He knows exactly what that's, what that's like. That's what happened at the first Easter. But the Lord stands by us. And he strengthens us. He doesn't leave us alone, whatever we have to face. What an amazing God we have.